IT, this is Bentley. No, oh, yeah, I'd be happy to help. Overworked and Underplayed is a not-safe-for-work Dungeons & Dragons actual play podcast about a group of young professionals from the real world who find themselves transported to a strange but familiar place full of fantasy and magic. If you click the link below, you'll be able to see the description and content warnings, and if there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. Have a good day. Afternoon, class. I am Dr. Datarian. All right, now, who can tell me what happened after the Battle of the Orchard? Ooh, I can. After defeat... Hold on, you will speak when called upon. What is your name, student? Uh, Richard? All right. Dick, you may answer. Yeah, so, as I was saying, after the defeat of the great spider monster... The heroes were approached by a mysterious masked man and whisked away to the safety from the anger of the cult. And then two of the members valiantly went back to get their wagon. They came back and there was like some story that only part of the group got to hear. I don't know. That's not important, I guess. And then once the group all was reunited, they started making their way back to Lavron. Very good. Very good. So what was significant about the Battle of Salamis? That's easy. That's when the pincer maneuver was invented. Ha 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 ha! Wrong again, Mr. Cox. You see, that was the Battle of Hydaspes, or Marathon, according to some historians. Also, where are your clothes? What? What are you talking about? Oh my god! <laughs> I swear they called him Little Richard! <laughs> Greetings, my paid and unpaid interns. This is Overworked and Underplayed, a D&D podcast for young professionals by young professionals. Today's icebreaker, what is your most awkward client experience? What up? It's your boy Marcel Hardy playing Richard Cox, a human consultant turned halfling bard who wholly believes it's better to be lucky than good, but it's best to be both. And as we've previously established on this podcast, Richard used to be about 6'3", so, you know, taller than average. And he's only ever, for the most part, seen his client through Zoom calls. And so the first time he met his client in person, it was like at a function. And he saw this like shorter person amongst a lot of tall people. He's like, oh, I didn't realize this was like a bring your family event. And then that's when he found out it was actually Mr. Richardson. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, oh yeah, talk talk about your boss. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Hi, my name is Annalyn Hardy, and I play Taylor Jacobs. Taylor still kicks herself for this. Her awkward client experience is that she sent out like a Zoom meeting invite, and she spelled Crystal's name with a C. <gasps> oh. oh shit. <laughs> It was you! <laughs> the good thing is, Crystal doesn't read anything. She hasn't read to her, so... So that, her personal assistant covered for you. Yeah, it must be, right? They had your back. That's awesome. She's it been on pins and needles this whole time. Right? Oh, man. Never knowing it's what it's like. It's like, secretly, Taylor Jacobs thinks she's, like, really good friends with Crystal, but really, it's her personal assistant. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you yeah, have to that movie <laughs> over the week. She's getting catfished by her personal assistant. Oh. Turned out it's ch- <laughs> <laughs> he's in love with Taylor Jenkins. Oh my god! But he's contractually oh obligated. Wow, Taylor. the plot thick. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Kind of wow, he does. He's the one that has access to her phone all the time. So, oh. yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't oh. have this one written down. Yeah. Hi everyone. I'm Katie, and I play Crystal, the Drow Druid, with her very own MLM, Crystal Clarity, and Crystal's most awkward client experience 
is much like anybody that has lived through the pandemic, it is involving a Zoom call. So just like Mr. Cox over there, she was on a Zoom call and she had her camera on because she always requests all of her downline be on camera with mics off as per usual because the only voice in the room that matters is hers. <laughs> Cameras her- on, mics off. Yeah. yeah. Is so yeah. toxic. It is imagine? so toxic. And the then she's like, control and power. Yeah, yeah, she actively calls out people that are not on camera and she's like, you better be fucking paying attention um but anyway her (laughs) um most awkward client experience is that one time she was on camera and she forgot to close her bedroom door and her poor little boyfriend slash contractually obligated personal assistant uh (laughs) was in a compromising (laughs) position on camera (laughs) for her entire downline to see hey i'm marjorie i play amy and amanda a basic b rough and tumble human fighter with a freshly minted dentistry degree so Amy Ann is a new professionally, you know, licensed and all that kind of stuff dentist. So she doesn't have a ton of weird experiences yet. But one instance in medical school, um, she was, uh, you know, going down the line, going into different rooms. And she, she went into a room where there were two people. Uh, the fellow in this chair was quite elderly, clearly needed some pretty extensive dental work done. And then his companion, who Amy Ann said, hey, you know, it was nice of your daughter to bring you in here today, sir. It looks like we're going to have to do quite a bit of work. We're going to be here a while. And he says, oh, no, that's my wife. Mm. Oh. <laughs> nice. Uh, um, and then... Um, it's a sex thing, isn't it? Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately he, uh, he had to have all of his teeth removed. Yeah, that works. Uh, and have dentures. Hi, I'm Tyler. I play Bentley, the IT paladin, and Bentley is the most awkward thing. When you when you work in IT, you have a lot of power. You, you can see a lot of things inadvertently sometimes when you're working on unrelated oh, no. things. Bentley's most awkward is being aware of just how obsessed Taylor Jacobs is with Crystal by seeing her search history. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. That would be oh, awkward. No, that that would be super awkward. <laughs> and that's why he calls you Miss Jacobs. <laughs> He's like, I gotta draw a line. I've seen too many things. <laughs> There's something seriously wrong with this. It's like arms length, arms length. That's incredible. Oh man. All right. And I am Alex Caps once again, your DM or district manager. And uh let's see here, my most awkward client experience. It's hard for DMs to have awkward experiences because normally it's the other people who have to deal with the awkwardness. Uh, dun, dun, dun. But every now and then, <laughs> somebody true. somebody leans really hard into flirting with an NPC, and sometimes you just got to make it as awkward as possible for everybody in the room to make sure that never happens again. Hey, listeners. This show is made possible by the support of our awesome patrons. In addition to a thank you for their support, our patrons get an ad-free listening experience and access to exclusive bonus content. In the weeks between episodes, our patrons are getting an extra show where we recap episodes and talk about some of our favorite moments. For more details about what you can get by supporting us on Patreon, check us out at patreon.com slash ownuppod. So when we last left off, Bentley watched as Mr. Amun disappeared with a few objects while everyone else was sleeping. Specifically one object. Yes, yeah, specifically one object. And, and I don't know who awakens, but y'all Yeah. Somehow scene, you all hear Bentley yell, You fuck mother <laughs> Yeah, so scene opens <laughs> mother. Uh actually let's go ahead and have everyone roll perception with disadvantage except okay. for Bentley, because since y'all are asleep. Okay. You gotta love that disadvantage. Oh, no. I rolled a one, so I got a total of a three. Nice. I also rolled a one, which is a total of seven. Nice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amy Ann, 11. She's very okay. perceptive. <laughs> Taylor got a seven. Okay, so Amy an Ann, you rolled above a 10. <laughs> oh, uh-huh. no. So Amy Ann, you wake up at camp hearing <laughs> Bentley just cussing up a storm. You bastard-ass motherfucker, shit-ass current <laughs> whore. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, we are earning that NSFW today. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay, I get up immediately. I just jump up, take a take a look around to see who's still sleeping, and I see Bentley away, awake. I no, see him. I, yes. I'm outside so around see, the tent. So you see Bentley, uh, like, you see Bentley yelling. Okay. Uh, you see Bentley you see specifically. everyone else. 
you see Bentley specifically on his hands and knees punching the fucking ground. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Everyone else appears to be asleep, okay. and the it's not quite sun up, mm-hmm. uh, but you can see as the atmosphere is starting to get a little illuminated. So it's that period just before dawn. Okay, and I don't see Dartarian around anywhere. No. Okay, I go up to Bentley, put my hand on his back, like Bentley, are you okay? What no, happened? that motherfucker stole the the, the who, thing, the light bulb. Who did? Here, here, get up off of the ground, please. <laughs> but, but, just okay. come on, come on, take some deep breaths. <laughs> Amy's full mom at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Should have let you have that horse, I guess. All right, we need to get Richard awake and find Why, out what, what all he took. The, the, what? the guy, the doctor dude, took it. The yoga guy? He yeah. Took, he took what? He took the, the light bulb. The light bulb? I can't remember no, the he name. He took the projector. He took the projector. Oh, he took the projector. Not the oh, my God. Where did okay. he go? Should we follow him? a portal. Him? I don't know where he went. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, we need to immediately. Come on. I heard some things. We were going to try and, like, protect the camp, and then he's like, deuces. Wow, that's a, it doesn't sound like something he would say, but I take your word for it. I, do, okay, I, just, I don't mean literally. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, well, it's let's go. Expression. Okay, so walk back to the to the tent. I assume we're, are we in a tent? I, don't, I guess it doesn't matter. Sure. Okay. Okay. So y'all got like bedrolls and tents and okay. stuff. That's fine. I wake up. I, w- I look. Richard at, is tossing and turning. He's okay. not having a good night's sleep. I like try to shake his arm like, Richard, wake up! Ah, ah, oh, ah, Calm down! Okay. Calm down! <laughs> okay. Oh my god! When you, when you said that, it reminded me of the movie Bedtime Story with, and he's like, I suffer from night terrors. And it's like later on in the movie, he's just like, ah! Like, you're just imagining Richard having night terrors. Right. Richard! Yeah, what? Wake up! Oh my okay, gosh. Okay, but oh. calm down! <laughs> I had a crazy dream. Do you still have the light bulb? Uh, sure, I mean... Why? Why do you ask? Because the yoga dude stole the projector. All right, so sure Richard's like freaking level. out because he just had a terrible dream, and he's like going over to his. Was fanny your terrible pack. dream specifically the situation? I mean, it was. Well, let's find out. <laughs> and so he's gonna go over to his igloo fanny pack. Is the fanny pack still there? Yes. Okay, the fanny packs are there. So he's gonna open it up and you know rummage around. What all? So do I see. So you would find as you're rummaging through it. That the astral projector is missing. Is anything else missing? That is all. Okay. Woo. Richard is upset, but not as upset as he would be. What What did you find, Richard? Uh, Why also are you sleeping across the room from the fanny pack with our important <laughs> items? In? Well, <laughs> well, so that's the thing. I wasn't. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this fucking. <laughs> 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 Bentley feels a little bit less bad, like it was entirely his fault. <laughs> Bentley's like Bentley's just saying completely quiet. He's Shift like, "This is not blame. my fault at all." Shift the blame. <laughs> it's like, well, I. I remember it. He's movies. like, yeah, yeah, why were you doing that? It's like, well, I thought I had it next to me, but I oh. had this crazy dream. I must have thrown it with my night chairs. Oh, my God. But anyway, yeah, so so the astral you projector is gone. You to tell me you unbuckled it and, <laughs> and threw it across the room in your sleep. I have Do very you sleep vivid with dreams. with a fanny pack on? <laughs> I mean, if it was that important, I probably would. Richard probably maybe had it as a pillow or something, so he probably oh, didn't have it attached. Oh, yeah, but. yeah. Anyway. Oh, because yeah. he's so small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about that's that. So yeah, cute. it's actually like a cross body bag for Richard. <laughs> I'm saying, I would be asleep with that sucker, like, sitting across my chest, like, hugging it like a freaking, I don't know, Care well, Bear. Well, Richard, okay, well, I guess the, the other two are still asleep. What What do you think we should We're do? We're sleeping like babies. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere. This is not in character, but it's like, how do we make it seem like it's their fault? Yeah. <laughs> oh. just wow. That's just what's going on in the back of Bentley's mind. Rich is like, fuck, it's gone. It's real. Okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. We got to wake them up. But we, okay, all right. Crystal, hey, wake up, wake up. We got, we got robbed. No, I just went to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Taylor, wake up, wake up. We just got robbed. Woo! Where's Crystal? <laughs> she's, right, she's right there. Okay, thank God. What were you saying? <laughs> oh my God, can you please be quiet? I'm trying to sleep. But... Just go back to sleep, Crystal. Okay, so we were robbed, Taylor. Shh, can you keep it? Okay. Okay, but it's pretty much morning. We can wake up now. Oh, Crystal yeah, okay. finally sits up and it's just pissed. <laughs> <laughs> You, have, you can't tell her anything before her macho long. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. Oh my God, we've been robbed? Yeah. The the yoga doctor, he nicked the projector. Yeah, the projector. My bag was not next to me when I woke up. 
And then I looked inside of it after they told me something was wrong, and the astral projector's not in there anymore. Crystal's just shaking her head like, you had one job, dude. One. I was and asleep. That was, he was a fanny pack. It was your job. job. So there's a lot of emotions about yeah. this. Bitly's just standing really far away. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Wait, who was, who was on watch with the doctor? We were uh, asleep. I was asleep, Bentley. clearly. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> how, did you, how could you let this happen? Well, we heard goblins. We uh-huh. separated the try and pincer maneuver them. Okay. It seemed like a good idea at the what time. What the fuck is a pincer maneuver? It's like from Pokemon. There's this like bug. <laughs> no, that's not important. <laughs> <laughs> it was what, super effective. Were there, be- were there goblins? <laughs> I mean, what happened? Did they help no, him? No. I, don't, I guess he was using magic or something to make it seem like there were sounds. Okay. I don't, I don't know. Wasn't so you expecting fell that. for it, right? Well, yeah. You, f- you fucking fell for it. Hey, in my defense. So this is your fault. I thought he had the fanny Not pack. Not Richard. <laughs> it's both of your faults. Of Bentley, we haven't really encountered a whole lot of illusion magic back home, but we've encountered people being fucking psycho. Hey. Oh, That's you know, true. and last time we the, were wrong. We just wait, 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 wait. we were wait, just wait, guys, to, guys, guys, guys. Just to There's a very Hold legitimate on. situation here. Who was the one that wanted to keep traveling with the dude who was interested in yoga? I think it's Crystal's fault. Guys, we can <laughs> argue with each other on the run. We have to chase this guy. Like how? I'm not he saying no one... portal. He I don't know. We, he told oh, us he was oh, from. Yeah. We're all headed to the same place, right? He just has a head start. We have to get to Levron. We cannot point. let him get away with this astral projector. Okay. Okay. I'll as get the horses as I can ready. Sleep in the cart. God. You can sleep in I the mean, cart. You can yell at Bentley in the cart. Doesn't matter. We have to go. Okay. We are lucky in that we still have the 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 bulb, so should it's not I, like he can do anything with should it. Should Taylor run ahead and warn the professor? Um. I, are you faster than these horses? Like. One when horse we... is probably faster than horses with a cart. Okay, sure. If you want to lead the way, run up to meet up with Professor Frizzlebang, and then hopefully he can have a plan for us when the rest of us catch up. She's going to like gradually get five feet further, further, she guess. I have a minor question. Okay, I'm all ears. So I have detect magic, and okay. I know that this is not the intention for detect magic, but you can sense like magic, shockingly, with that spell. and. I was wondering if I could cast it to see in the direction of which the portal sort of like sent was. him, sent him general vibe, like a smoky trail. Oh, hmm. high or low? My luck. Do today yourself says- a better make an arcana check. You got like better bonuses, right? If you Ooh. do like a skill check versus randomly guessing mm. a fifty-fifty. Oh. Okay, oh. there you go. Oh. I feel like my arcana is shit. I mean, you at least have a slightly better chance in 50-50. Okay, hold on. Not necessarily. (laughs) What is arcana? Arcana is Intelligence. You have magic. Yeah, but this is her idea. Right, right. But I'm saying, (laughs) if you could give her advantage, say. Could you sing to me, (laughs) Richard Cox? (laughs) Richard, you Use that bardic inspiration. Can you, like, sing to us and cheer us up? (laughs) (laughs) So see, it's not quite really my thing, but you know, um, if you gave her a bardic inspiration, it would she could roll that in addition to her d twenty. That is true. So how is Crystal letting the rest of the group know she's doing that? So she's like, guys, I let me just see if I can solve this. I'm gonna like I have this thing. I don't know if it'll work, but it's it's detect magic, and it will allow us to, I guess, lace what the freaking instructions say to see sort of where this magic occurred and where it took him. Oh my God, that's a brilliant idea. Like, oh. I've, like, wait a thing, if we are task focused right now, we have to get back to that city. Okay. Please do whatever it is that Crystal you need to do. Crystal loves being called brilliant. <laughs> right? And in, in that action, Richard will um, use one of his uh, bardic inspirations. Okay, awesome. so I just rolled double, right? Uh, you, add, you add a d6 to your roll. Okay. All right, let's I see. I was what hoping we, got. we see Richard dance or sing or something to inspire the group. That's a 17 plus ooh, six. Wow. Yay! All right, so Crystal Plus goes, nothing. Oh. So after your pep talk, <laughs> Crystal wanders over, and you can see some disturbance in the ground where something happened. She reaches down, grabs a little bit of the dirt, kind of sniffs it. Oh. And, <laughs> For those essential yeah, oils. Yeah. <laughs> and you would, you would be able to tell 
like it's the scene in Ratatouille connection. where where he tastes the food and it like takes him back to his childhood. Like you have one of those brain oh, zap okay. brain blasts from Jimmy okay. and you just see you just see the city of Levron. <gasps> okay, so that's so cool. Wild. I didn't know I could do that. It wasn't particularly helpful, but it was cool. We do need to head back. Is to there like maybe a specific part of the city? Uh, this is best she could okay. she could determine. Fair enough. That was such a high roll. Uh, okay. Yeah. So what's y'all's plan? Yeah. <laughs> so Taylor's <laughs> leading the charge, headed to LeBron. Yeah, I did Taylor that. take off before Crystal did her cool thing? No, I feel like she would have been like, oh, Crystal's doing something. <laughs> Let's wait. <laughs> okay, okay, so you guys are about two days away from LeBron. That's what we'll say. Taylor's uh, pulled an all-nighter before. It's fine. Do we have the equivalent of Monster? <laughs> Or Red Bull. You've got Let's Get Jazzed. That's true. Right? Do we have? Oh, God. We still have it. Like, we took a bunch of it, I think. Oh, yeah. We yeah. did we steal them, them from the bookstore. Yeah. <laughs> I will feel like at some point around the campfire, uh, I had doled out the Let's Get Jazz. So everybody's got like a couple of them. Okay. So I do have Animal Messenger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just do that, Crystal. <laughs> Taylor's already like 10 minutes down She's the road. She's already gone. No. But I don't think that the distance works. Like, that's why I was like waiting because I was reading it and what I had. But it's 50 miles for flying every 24 hours. So I don't no, think that would... would be about right. That sounds good. So? Oh, dude. <gasps> 50 miles sounds you, good. You, you, so, so the standard adventuring day in a cart with mm-hmm. a horse is like 20 miles. Okay. So 50 miles, you'd be you'd be right about there. This so. whole time Taylor was stretching and then go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um <Out of> so, <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I I may have something useful. I've not used it before and clearly the last time I tried using magic, although it was successful, I feel like I'm just terrified and scarred from all of the shit that I've accidentally turned myself into a caterpillar one time. So was it a caterpillar? Was it, mm-hmm. it, was, it a was a caterpillar. caterpillar. So I'm a little afraid. What spell is this? Animal messenger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, I have to, so I need a bird. Can someone help me catch a bird? As I said, the I amount of help. time it'll take us to catch a bird is probably still less than yeah. whatever. Accurate. Uh, yeah. Is it going to hurt the bird? So, so, so you don't have to have a bird. You just oh. need to be able to see a bird. Oh. So make oh. me a perception check. Oh, shit. Everybody look for a bird. Everybody look yeah, for everybody a bird. Yeah, everybody look for a bird. Be everybody a bird. Roll, roll for bird. <laughs> what what happens to the bird? Uh, so I, no, will I roll, it die? Or? I don't know. I've never done this before. <laughs> I rolled a nat 20 on the bird look. I rolled a dirty 20 on the bird look. <laughs> bird <Okay>. look. <laughs> so you guys. I rolled I a, also, so I, I rolled a 20 uh, the bird look. 21. Dirty oh, 21. Yes. Okay, so you guys, you guys like, you say, everyone look for a bird, and you guys all look at the same bird that's just chilling <laughs> in a tree. This poor bird. And you just see a little blue animal. jay. The you just see way. a little blue jay, like, just sitting there, like, eating a worm. And, like, he see he looks and sees all of you staring at him. <laughs> and you see as he starts to, like, he slowly starts moving his wings out. <laughs> like, he's a, little, he's a little weirded out. What are you doing? <laughs> and Crystal's like, psst, come here. You and she like points her finger at it, and she's and, like, and "I you need see your as help." The bird has its wings out, and it like curls in one of its wings, pointing at its chest. Like, <laughs> like me? <laughs> yes, yes, you, 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 come here, come here, come it, here, come here. It shakes its head, no. <laughs> oh, it's a spicy well, bird. It is a spicy Crystal, bird. Do you want me to catch it for you? Says one of your components is a tiny morsel of food. Oh, yeah, you need some bread or something. I need some bread. Oh, here's a protein bar. Oh, yeah, okay. And she grabs the protein bar. Yeah, the bird will need it for what it's about to do. (laughs) The bird just kind of looks and it's like, it points at the the food Uh and points at its chest again. Uh Uh-huh. Yes. And you see as it hops down from the tree and lands on the ground. Uh Uh-huh. And does that little bird hop thing where it hops like three times and it like. Looks around. I can hurry up. Come on. Hops again. (laughs) It's looking around. What is this, the fucking safari zone? (laughs) Yeah. Sometimes like a Pokemon podcast, up on something. Uh, and then the God bird bless. appears, and we'll say that over a course of ten minutes. Oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> over Dad, a course uh... of ten minutes. Since this is a ritual spell. Oh, is it? <laughs> it is. Still saving us. It, it's fun. exponential it's, it's amount of time. Exponential amount of time. I, I feel like we're like packing up bed rolls and stuff yeah, during yeah. this time. We're like sure. multitasking. Yeah, everyone's like, and then Crystal's just sitting there, <laughs> <laughs> staring yeah. at this bird. The bird finally gets close, and it takes a small nibble of its food, 
Hey, Crystal, we've got everything packed up. We're ready to go. Are you done yet? <laughs> I hope to God that you're speaking. She just, like, looks at Bentley and she shoots daggers out of her eyes. She's like, if you fucking scare this bird off, and, I'm going to lose and it. And you hear, God, can you believe that guy? <laughs> huh? And he says the bird looks up at you like, huh? You you understood me? Oh, my God, you can hear me? I can hear me. What is this? What's going on? I don't know, but what I are don't we doing? like it. Um, but I do need This is help. so good. This uh... food tastes so good. And he like nibbles some more. What? Well, you're gonna need it, bud. Here you go. Eat up. <laughs> He's all the like, oh bugs. my god, what is this? Is this like, what is this? Is this? This isn't bugs. What is this? This is nuts. Is refined this, sugar. What is it's refined sugar. Oh my god, my heart. It feels like I feel like I've oh never god. gone so fast before. I swear to God, if this bird dies. <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? Where are you from? The caffeine in the bar. Just and it. you guys, everyone else at the camp just sees, tweet, 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 like, <laughs> like this bird's just going ham. And Crystal's just staring at it. Like so what's what's your deal? Can you Have you always been able to talk to birds? I've never talked to a person before. I've never talked. What's um, going on? I don't know. Um, Wait, so I, I've never talked to a What's my purpose? Oh, no, you can't go all philosophical on me. We don't have time for that. I need you to <laughs> send a message. Focus. Uh, yeah. Focus. Yeah. I need you to send a message. I need you to find a man named Professor what? Fizzlebang. Fizzlebang. Thank you. Um, she like looks at Taylor. She's like, thanks, man. Um, <laughs> that's that's a lot of words, nice lady. What does he look like? I I, I kind of work off of vague shapes and faces, and I mean, where is he? Where Where do I need to go? I don't know. She like turns her head and she's like, guys, he's asking me questions I can't answer. I don't remember what this guy fucking looks like. I don't remember where he is. Uh, I know his name is Fizzlebang. Help me out. What? So, so we left him at the crow's nest. You know, okay. the, the ships in the cities of Ron's like, stack ships on top of each other. Okay. Boats. Boats on top Boats. of each other. Can I send a mental image to this bird? Sure. Okay. <laughs> this is and, a game. and so you do this and he goes, ah! <laughs> I went blind for a second, then I saw some I saw some boats stacked on top of yep, each other, and now I'm back here. That's what is going on? Calm down. Calm down. Oh, okay. Calm down. Okay. 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 I'm calming okay, down. Okay. I'm calming um, down. So oh. that's your destination, oh. right? So oh. I'm going to need you to go there, and there's a guy there that's waiting for you, and he looks like this, and she just, like, concentrates. No! <laughs> <laughs> what if she, like, sends in the equivalent of Google Maps? Sure. <laughs> That's like she doesn't know where how she got here, so it's not helpful. Okay, okay. So I go to the I go, uh-huh. I go to, I, and it's in I, LeBron, I go to the big city, and I'm just like telepathically like trying to sort of retrace our steps, and she's like do, using pictures to try and like because okay. that's all she's got. Okay. She doesn't really okay. remember. So anything. I go to the, uh, the the city. That's where the bread is. Uh-huh. Uh huh. There the is bread, bread there. Is. Um, and he will probably feed you oh. and be super grateful. Yes. So I'm gonna need you to go there and tell him. Uh. I'm gonna need you to go there <laughs> and tell him that. No need to take this offline. Overworked and underplayed will circle back after these messages. Richard, help me out. What well, the pro- the projector's been stolen. The projector's been stolen. Okay. You just tell him the project. Wait, you probably can't talk to him, can you? Uh, according to this spell, uh, <laughs> I, I can like, deliver the message of up to twenty five words to the target. That's a lot of words. Okay. Um, that and... is not that many words. It's you're literally sending a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Love oh, that. Wow. That's, a literal that's... tweet. That's... Nice. That's so good. That's so okay, good. okay. How okay, long okay. have you been sitting on that? I've been like <laughs> as soon as wonderful. she said animal messenger, I was I That's was... fucking great. Okay, 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 okay. So she's gonna focus, she's gonna be like twenty five words, twenty five words. Uh okay, okay. I'm picturing her pulling out that like rock that she's pretending <laughs> yeah, to be her. She's phone, like typing like, she's it typing. out. So she like she does exactly that. She pulls out her little square rectangular rock and she's like typing, trying to figure out where it counts, and she's like, Okay, tell him that the projector has been stolen. What's this guy's name? Fizzlebang. No. His oh, Amun. Fizzle- Doctor <laughs> Doctor Datarian. Doctor Datarian is a shit ass. <laughs> he stole it. Shit ass is one word, by the way. I it is that. one word. Uh, we are on our way back. He's like he's like projector stolen. Um, what's his name? Doctor D stole it. Uh, he's a shit ass. Uh, uh, what was the last part? We're on our way back. We're on our way back. Got it. And he just immediately Shit. takes <laughs> Stay off. Stay where you are. Stay where you he are. He is gone. Too late. Uh, 
As that was the, really good. As the, yeah, that was excellent. As I feel like this is happening, all of our stuff is now like in the sweat. cart. Yeah, yeah, and are we're all, all just like go. standing, kind of like cross armed, like watching, like watching <laughs> her text on the rock again. <laughs> you guys, I think she may have had a mental breakdown. She thinks that rock is a cell phone. Well, she's not the only one that's a ha- about to have a mental breakdown if we don't go. <laughs> Richard's like, we're on a fucking schedule. Richard, Richard has transitioned to his dad phase. <laughs> Everyone in the car now. We're not stopping to go to the bathroom. Just Project the management. Law. Pacing back and yeah. forth. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. put on his new balances. Yeah. <laughs> See the new balance joke. Oh, my God. Okay, well, let's go. Hey, Crystal, you want a hand up? Yeah. Okay. And she grabs her hand. All, All right. right. So you guys are in the cart. Yeah. And you head on so, down the road. Yeah. What I'm going to say is, and this is so funny that this took this amount of time because I was so actually about time. to tell y'all, it's not going to be any problem for you guys to make it back to LeBron in two days. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. But this is fun. This uh, was one day, though. Well, yeah. this way now sooner. Fizzlebang can give us some information yeah, when yeah. we get so, there. So yeah. I'm going to give you that. So after the first day, you guys stop. You like set up your camp. Everything's fine. The next morning, you see a Blue Jay approach. Is it our same guy? And and, and Is he it the lands same Blue Jay? and he looks up he looks up at you, Crystal, and he's like, Hey, you got any more of that stuff? <laughs> oh shit. Now he's addicted. <laughs> I need my stuff. Look, dude, none of that till you tell me what you're gonna say. Oh, yeah, I found the guy. He was at the bar. He was a little drunk. Not helpful. Move on. <laughs> he said, No big deal. I left Richard a note. What? How? Richard. Why didn't you say he left you a note? I forgot about the note, TBH. I read it real quick one time. <laughs> <laughs> also, I would like it to be known that everybody think Crystal believes that everybody can understand this Blue Jay. Yeah. The Blue Not, Jay. She, she's talking to you like you can understand this guy. It's like, oh, yeah. Well, so, I mean, all the note said was don't connect the two magic items together. And he, like, goes, opens up the fanny pack, and he pulls out a little, like, origami crane, and then he unfolds it, and it's a note. And he's like, yeah, from Fizzlebang. Don't plug the Lux into the projector. Hide it in the bag. I mean, I did that. I put the two items in the bag. So, you know, mission, message ac- mission accomplished. Message accomplished. Why message accomplished. I... Whatever. Okay. So, I mean, we do still have the light bulbs, so I guess. Without the two of them together, we're fine. I mean, uh, we need to talk to Fizzlebang. <laughs> what? That uh, igloo shit needs to go in a cavity, because we're not doing it. <laughs> 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 it's going in your mouth. And that's something. straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Um, uh, that's racist. We're not getting so, that so, shit so ever. Jay, Jay turns to you, and, he, and he's like, he also said, don't meet here. He said, meet it, the big tall building. He said, you would know where. The ba- I don't know where that is. Big what? tall building? He says, you've met there before. We've met there before. Yes. Crystal, what is the bird saying? We can't you understand it. it. We can't understand it. Him. That rock is a f- not a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do this now. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to I be don't supportive. Need you to break my delusion. Thank you do very we much. Hear, <laughs> do we hear Crystal's half of the conversation? Yes. Yeah. Okay, big tall building. The Blue Gold Tower? That's it. You hear as the bird goes. That's it. Bluegill Tower. Bluegill Tower. So oh, so now we can understand, understand the bird. Yeah. <laughs> the bird can understand them, but only Crystal can understand yeah. the bird. And she's like, "Love that journey for us." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you guys not understand him? No. No. Oh. Well, that's awkward. Okay. You're like a um, Disney princess. And and you can and, talk to and the so animal. and so the I Jay, don't love that. Jay um, turns back and goes, "Hey, so so I did this for you, and now his I'm name back." Is Jay. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and he, Original. Says, he says, can I ask you a question? Like, I mean, like, go ahead. Like, what? what's the point? Like, like we get up, we eat, we, we go to bed. Like, what else the is there? The point is to what take is... advantage of every opportunity you are given in life. And if you do not do that, you will be a disappointment to your family. Oh. <sighs> All of us look at each other <laughs> like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just, wow. you guys just see as this bird, like, it, it lowers its head and says, Okay, well, see you later. <laughs> and just takes off. Oh, you can stay if you want. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get too familiar. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, All right. right. So, I have a spider. Wow. So another day Bye, passes, <laughs> and you guys see the familiar sights of the city of LeBron. I never thought I'd be, you know, feel like we're coming home. Weird. Are you guys wanting to go straight to Bluegill headquarters or do anything else first? I think that's our one main objective. Yeah, okay. We'll so yeah. we're probably gonna head straight yeah. to HQ. 
All right, so yeah, I we just gotta get that to a level bird up. for this, so I'm it, probably... Yeah, we gotta you, get that level up. You make it to the corporate sector, and it is utter chaos. There are people fighting everywhere, but you guys just kind oh. of ignore them and just like, like it's another day, you know? Because they're on lunch or everything. Yeah, and you make it to Bluegull HQ. I, don't know, I feel like we should probably pick up a little bit more XP just to make sure we level up. We should start beating up people <laughs> along the way. And you guys <laughs> see... <laughs> In one of the windows in the lobby, you guys see a familiar face of Dr. Fizzlebang. Fizzlebang. Hi! Like, Taylor's like, He's just waving. waving. He's like, waving. Come in. Come hey, man, Taylor. your message was so unhelpful. Oh, y'all Don't getting worry. out of the cart? Yep. He can't hear you. He's waving through a window. <laughs> She's already talking uh... to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we would have gone inside immediately. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. so you guys make it inside, and as you make it through the doors, you see a bunch of confetti fly through the air, and you guys see Matt Damon goes, my friends, my workers, you've made it back. We're so happy to see you. We threw you a pizza party to celebrate. Oh, my God. Uh, that means we're not getting a level up. <laughs> this oh, fucking wow. guy. You guys. You're not getting a promotion. Thank you. No promotion you guys <laughs> have done such a good job. Like, we could not do what we do without you guys. Uh -huh. You have provided us such good information, and to show how much like we appreciate everything you've done, we talked with some of your friends in town, we heard about this whole sauce thing, and we have thrown together you a pizza party. With sauce? Yes. Inside. It turns out they had it all, all, all along over by the bead shop. If he calls his family, that makes there sense. have been layoffs. Yeah. Insight. <laughs> Insight. Oh, my God. <laughs> Insight, please. Okay, roll insight. <laughs> Natural Ooh. 20 plus Ooh. insight 21. Okay, he seems very excited that you guys are back. Awesome. I um, imagine he's heard that we killed, what's his name? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, he probably oh, heard that. Okay. I'm going to need some monetary compensation, my guy. That I have worked my beyond. ass off for this. I literally almost joined a cult, and then they stopped me, which was really frustrating. And then I talked <laughs> to a fucking bird, and I need some Fucking pay off. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm hey, sure Matt, we buddy. Can, we can where's, talk about where's that. The pizza? We can talk about. We can talk about it right now. <laughs> well, I mean, when we get to our our normal review cycle, I'm sure Great. we'll be able to. No, like, talk now about all... out of line promotion. <laughs> Amy Ann's like, all I wanted was a pizza. <laughs> Amy Ann's like, I wasn't allowed to have pizza growing up. I either, I either would like to quit yeah. this job. I would like to quit this job or I would like a promotion. One of the two. Which is like, I just want to talk to Fizzlebang. <laughs> Where is Fizzlebang? Fizzlebang is like over to the Richard. side. Like oh, okay. he's, he's like waving at Richard. Richard, Richard, come here, come here. Richard, quick steps. Yeah, we'll come back to this, I promise. Fizzlebang says, so you have it. You have the Lux Mille Sole. Yeah, we have it. It's in the bag. Excellent, excellent. He you says, seem very excited for someone who got the news that we lost the projector. Ah, uh, except Fizzlebang is always one step ahead, my friend. I heard that Dr. Datarian was tracing you, and so I thought I would see what it is he was up to. Wait, when did you hear that, and why didn't you tell us? <laughs> Richard is, like, freaking out. There it's, it is. It's called an experiment. I wasn't sure, and I didn't want to alarm you if I wasn't sure there was something to be alarmed of. I knew he wouldn't. Richard's like, you did not want us to be alarmed. Do I not look alarmed to you right now? I thought we were never going home. Oh. No. <laughs> Richard, Richard, my friend, I would never do this. Red I, I, flag, my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a mistake. I just was worried... I was worried if you all knew too much that it would make it harder to accomplish the mission at hand. I realized the error in my, in my mistake and misjudgment of you. But you did get my note, right? Yes. And he says, why are you worried? I thought we needed both of those things to get home, and we only had one of those things. Wait a second, wait a second. Can I see the note? Yeah, and Richard hands him the folded up paper that's like he a little crumbly it, now. He goes, oh... Oh, I gave you the wrong note. <gasps> Richard has like red, like if this was a cartoon, red is like going up his face like a thermometer. <laughs> vein. Steam is starting to come out of his ears. Does he have that vein says, in between his eyebrows? Richard, eyeballs? I understand now. I am so sorry. My assistant must have put the wrong note in the wrong bag of holding. That was a decoy. You see as he pulls like a satchel bag to the side, opens it up, and just pulls out the astral projector. <gasps> he says, 
I was worried that Dr. Datarian would be suspicious if you didn't have what he thought was the real one. And I thought that was what he was after, and I was right. I should have let you know more about my plan. You should have. And I am sorry. Noted. Shit ass. He says, so, we are still good, though. Yes, Richard says, like, through his teeth. <laughs> All right, now, coming back over to the other side, Matt Damon says, okay, okay, okay you know what? Yes. I thought that the pizza party would be great for you guys. It would give you a taste of cuisine you're more accustomed to. Wait, how does he know how we're you accustomed know? to? <laughs> I, we've had a lot of time to talk with Fizzlebang. But how would he how know? Does, how does he... No, sir. Put uh-uh. the pizza down. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would like to quit this job or you will pay me better okay, okay, right now. Okay, 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 okay. Tell you what. I, I hear you. I talked to a fucking bird, dude. You did a great well, job. What's wrong with talking to a bird? <laughs> he says, oh, you sent a tweet? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. You, your magic so has cool. come so far. So far. Uh, uh-huh. He says, yeah, okay, keep going. Okay. How about a one-step promotion? How's everybody feel? Everybody, feel, I think that is perfectly a one fair. step I promotion. I think a three step would be more in line with the kind of risk. I agree. Uh, we nearly lost again. I almost, I was prevented from joining. It's a one cult. step or nothing. Mm. One I'll step plus step, more goals and more money and the ability to ne- renegotiate my contract. Is- okay, we'll increase your stipend uh, fifty Crystal gold really a month. Really deserves done. it though. I'm gonna need Richard's you to renegotiate like, so the fucking over all of contract. this. He's like done. I would like to be on the contract that Richard and Amy Ann and Bentley are on. It's the same one. Isn't no, it's it? not. Isn't Mine that, is, is it predatory? I think we got a little bit more gold. Oh, yeah. We, we got, got a lot more okay, gold because okay, we okay, can get arrested. Me and Taylor. I bring I the girls you. with you Taylor. Guys have, like, yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys have proved your worth. You, you're valuable to the team. A few times over now. We will, we will put you all on the same contract. We'll increase your stipend. Crystal just holds out her hand for Amy Ann to like give her a we'll, high five. We'll, we'll increase your stipend. I just think it would be funny if they were making what we're making now and we're making. <laughs> we're doing this how about how about this? Make it easy for everybody. Equal pay. Yes. Uh, one hundred and fifty gold a week. How much? Was I don't it? know what that means. Crystal, that's an incredible amount of money. Then that then that sounds great. All right, fine. All right, so everyone. One hundred and fifty gold a week. A week. Yes. Okay, I know I did Why insight on him. Is and this he about was very to get excited, more dangerous? But this is very suspicious to me. You just eliminated the main competition okay, for Blue okay, Bull okay, okay, in, okay. The, in this realm. Okay, right? okay, I got you. So gotcha. he's like, he's like, you guys are fucking goons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goon okay. squad. Okay. Love it. Okay, okay. My question still stands: Do you have a cool armory we can get like a weapon from? You'll have to talk to our uh, security department about All right, that. Cool. But that's approved then. We can take a look. Potentially. You'll have to fill out a form, get it submitted, and then no, we'll No, no, no. I, I want it in writing. Get it approved. reimbursed. No, that, that's not how this works. I pick up my pizza again, start eating it. This is really Crystal's greasy. Like, I love is it. Is the pizza organic? No, there's no organs in the pizza. <laughs> it's, so, so it's vegetarian. Is sausage an organ? Kind of. She's yeah. primarily organic. Um, yeah, sure, it's organic. Okay, and she like takes a piece. She's you like, might want to dab it with a paper towel. Is it greasy? It's pretty greasy. I mean, oh, she puts it back down. Wouldn't, That's not wouldn't good. sausage still have well, yeah, like intestine right, so, casings? So, so technically, it is organic. So you guys are enjoying your pizza party. <laughs> uh-huh. You're Taylor's all gonna level up. Apple. Enjoying Woo! is a strong word. <laughs> Freaking f- yes! how, how many episodes has it been and, since we leveled and, up the last and time? And you guys, <laughs> as you're all enjoying your pizza, you see like an, a small elven lady come in the (gasps) lobby and you see someone at the desk pointing over at your group and you see as this very graceful elf with green eyes walks up and she's got this like she's got this piece of paper and she said excuse me is one of you crystal that would be me (gasps) you are here oh my god i've been waiting i've been waiting i'm so excited i was at the athenium the day oh. you had your, you, you were like, you were carrying on about how the Church of Clarity are not real or like, like you're yeah. the real crystal. I am. And I knew something was up with these guys and I'm writing a story. I'm an investigative journalist. I'm writing a story and I would love, can, can I get, can, can I interview you? Oh, absolutely. I can, I'm always down to tell people about and, the opportunity. Oh my God. Okay. So you are crystal. Like, like the original. According to documentation uh, I got from Blue Gold, it says you're Crystal 2.0. 
That is a false narrative. <laughs> but that, that impressed upon I mean, me by the Blue Gold system. I arrived here and they immediately impressed upon me this idea. But in the Blue Gold system, that's technically your name, right? I just I have to make sure I get all of my my shit. I should have negotiated in our contract. <laughs> <laughs> I, our I, new I just game! have to I, I, I have journalistic integrity and I just have to make sure I have all of my citations right. Legally, I am the original crystal. Okay, and she says, okay, so can you just sign this? And she hands you the paper. And as she puts it in your hand, she goes, you've been served. <gasps> and Crystal actively says, nope, sorry, you got the wrong Crystal. I did not confirm that I was Crystal 2.0. Okay, honey, whatever. I just got to submit my stuff to the courts And now. Crystal doesn't take it. This is... You can submit it to the court. Go right ahead. Crystal does not take it. She okay. did not confirm that she was Crystal 2.0. All right, hey, hey, no skin off my back. Okay, look. Yeah, sis. We all have a job, uh, and you're- s- But hey, if you would ever like to talk about the opportunity that I have for you guys and the freedom I could offer you with independent okay. employment, you can always follow back up she with says, the I, crystal. I just, I just recommend you show up for your court date on that document. Gratitude Today keeps the haters away, and that's why we want to thank you for listening to Overworked and Underplayed. You just heard Alex Caps as RDM, Anna Lynn Hardy as Taylor Jacobs, Katie as Crystal 2.0, Marjorie as Amy Ann, Marcel Hardy as Richard Cox, and Tyler as Bentley. Episodes are edited by Marcel, and Circle Back episodes are edited by Katie. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll circle back in two weeks on January 11th for the next episode. You can help us to get the word out by rating, reviewing, and subscribing wherever you listen to podcasts. You can also follow us on social at ownuppod. That's O-W-N-U-P-P-O-D. Subreddit r slash ownup. Yeah. Thank God that Alexander the Great was able to reference Pokemon to win the Battle of Salamis. Pika Pika! All right, listen, Ptolemy, I need you and your guys to go over here and act like Charizards, okay? Yeah. This is history. I mean, it would have worked. Oh, my God.